Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are still learning data analytics, and I am Tudor Frank from Tudor ICT Academy, where we offer professional training and solutions. In the previous video, we got far with Excel. We were able to extract the responses we got from you, from uh, Google, uh, from Google Sheets down to Excel. So now we want to see how we can run some analysis on this. I'm going to go, I, I'm going to try something very, very important. But first of all, you need to know how to link, uh, how to link um, sheets. Very important, you know how to link sheets. But uh, maybe I could try it here, or let me show you at once how to link sheets. So right here, I can rename this. I don't want to call it a long name. I want to call this responses. I want to call it responses, okay? Not form response. I have just renamed this so I can create a new worksheet and I want to carry out some more uh, analysis on the responses. So what I need to do, first of all, I want to count, I want to see, I want to get a chart for where we have male and female and other stuff. So we could have something like uh, gender. The title for this will be gender. Then on gender, we have a male and we will have a female. So the right thing to do here is uh, you check and confirm first because we want to use some uh, conditional formulas, some conditional functions. So where do we have gender is actually at uh, column D and gender is uh, from, uh, from D2 down to D23. Remember D2, D23 is where we have all the genders from G2 and uh, to G23. So coming back here, sorry, DO, not G, I really, really, I really, really apologize for that. D2 to D23, that is where we have all the gender. So let's move ahead. You come to the next, uh, the next option here. We can say equals to count if Count if open bracket. We are asked, what are we counting? We are counting from uh, responses. Note responses the name of the table. We must, I mean, the name of that particular sheet. We must reference that sheet. Then we use this. This means uh, where I'm going to start is actually on uh, another sheet. So D2 column D23, comma. Uh -huh. By so doing, I just, I just link it up to the first sheet. Then where do we have the criteria? It's here. We have criteria here. So I can close up this and I said enter. Do we have the answer? We got the answer. Uh oh, this two cell, this two uh, column was hidden. I can delete it because I don't, I want to start from A. So I can just drag this down to have the rest of the answer. In case you're wondering how this is done, I'm going to do it one more time so you can understand better. I'll click here, drag down, delete the answers. Let me show you again. I click here and set equals to count. But before then, I came here and check. Where do we have genders? The values of genders are in this range. The first one is on D2 and the last one is on D23. Okay? So I come here and I type equals to... I type count if I open bracket and I'm asked to provide the range instead of typing D2 and uh, as in D2 column D23 I cannot type that I need to refer to this table called responses so I have to start with responses then I put this this uh, explanatory mark very important then I can have D2 column D23. That's the standard. Then I say comma, and then I click on where I have the first item here, mail. Then I, I can close the bracket and press enter. Dragging this down help me do the same thing for female. Then I can select this two box, mesh and center, to have our first analysis here. I can as well um, reshape it. It doesn't need to be very big. 
and uh, I can make uh, can make the heading bold. All right. Then I can select this and I present this on a simple pie chart by going to insets and then I click on where I got uh, pie. I can pick the first pie chart here. And the item is on the screen. It's too big. I have to reduce it. It's too small that I cannot show the charts. Then I don't like this chart. It's bigger in my eye. I can use another type of chart. I just deleted that so I can come to insets, go to recommended charts. There are a lot of recommended charts here. I can pick this one or pick, but I will choose to pick uh, this one. Let me try this one. All right. I can reduce the size. Can reduce the size and position here. Note, reducing the box, we can make the chart itself bigger by clicking here and drag. That expands the chart itself. Then we can make this bold. All right. This is just the beginning of what we want to achieve. We're going to achieve much. So this is for gender. We can go ahead with another analysis. For example, we want to look at uh, the different age. Where we have three different age. Okay, let me leave the age. Let's say country. We want to see the number of people we have from each of the countries. So country is what? Countries that are C2 column C23, of course. So coming here, I could just come here and type something like... Uh, country so I have uh, the different countries like uh, Nigeria Zambia Ghana I will have uh, South Sudan I will have other one like uh, uh, there are a lot of countries there. Let me check out what we got. We got uh, Kenya. Uh huh. We got Kenya, and uh, I think that's all. All right. So I come here. I put Kenya. So I will say country, and then um, number of responses. So we are picking number of responses per country. So what I'm going to do now is I'll come here and set equals to the same formula. Count if, open bracket. Like I said, you have to be confirmed. Where do we have it? We have it on C. So I will come here and set equals to count if, open bracket, responses. Remember, it must be there because we are using the responses to get what we are doing here. Then we say C2 colon C23 comma and then the criteria which is here we close the bracket I can say enter Nigeria is 12. If I drag it down, we have other country. Kenya was zero. Let me confirm that. Is Kenya zero? Or oh, I didn't spell it well. Let me find out. There's one person from Kenya. One person from Kenya here. Yeah. So the answer has to be corrected. I have to remove this and the answer will be corrected now. If I drag it down one more time. The N is somewhere inside. Sorry that I don't spell this country well. I've done that. I've corrected that. So the answer is corrected now. Equals to how many? We can sum this up to know that we have the correct answer. So I can say um, total. On total, I can just need to click this and press enter. So it's 22. We got 22 responses. So this is completely correct. So I can select up here and make it bold. And then I can equally uh, make this uh, make this uh, initial cap 
so that it could be on uniform. All right, I can uh, alight this. I think it's okay. If I alight this one, I will not put total note. I'm not putting total. Then I can go on uh, inserts and find a suitable chart for it. Probably it could be this type of chart, and we say okay. Or we can go for we can change the chart type and go for a a bar chart. Pick something of this nature. The bar chart is better, so we can place it somewhere here. And this carries the uh, the value for each of the country. Can position it well here. Can see bringing more charts and more elements, no problem. I can click here, make it bold. I can click here, make it bold. You know, I can click here and equally make it bold. So this is amazing. This is how you can analyze the data we just collected. So those data might look like since there was no numbers, we cannot get anything out of it. But you can see from what we got here, we've been able to analyze and get something out of it over here. Uh, we can even look at data like uh, those that have dated by class before. Cost of interest, we can do the same thing. We can even do other stuff here to get those who are interested in data analytics and those who are interested in accounting software. So stuff like this could be done. And this is proper, practical data analysis. In the next video, we're going to learn something else. I, I, I can show you maybe one or two of the videos on uh, Google Sheets. How you can actually get this done using Google Sheet. I have videos on that, but for this free training session, let's stop here. We will continue with uh, another topic tomorrow. I am still to the frank. There are some adverts I have posted on the platform. Take advantage of it. Be part of a full package training. Believe by now you shouldn't be afraid of uh, losing money. To be sure that this comes from me, check. You're going to see my number on the local. Use the number on the local. The local you see up here or below here. Use that number on the local to be sure that this is from Tudor ICT Academy. Register for full package training and be part of the full package. I cannot be doing this for free as a scam. No, if I'm a scammer, I won't do this for free. It is totally wrong. A scammer will not have skills to offer you. He will only come and tell you about one investment. He want to show you how to make 40 million in a day. That is not what I'm doing. I'm showing you practical data analytics and you need to know this. Thank you very much. We'll continue in the next class. I am to the Frank.